Hi everybody, how's it going? How was your 2023? We're right at the end of it. At the very end of the year, many people create new year resolutions or set goals for the upcoming year. This one time special is to kind of help you out with that. I'll do two spreads and uh, additional clarification or potential outcome spreads if necessary. These could be about love, work, trips, finances, whatever comes up. Please like, share, subscribe, and have a fantastic 2024. Here's the first spread, Capricorn. Uh, we have the Nine of Cups classified by the world. Uh, then we have Justice, the Sun, and uh, Temperance on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra, um, Leo, Sagittarius, or any zodiac sign. This is a very happy spread. <laughs> it's a very serious and a very happy spread at the same time. All right, it's a wish come true. It's um, something that's going to leave you satisfied. Something is about to go in your favor. You're getting what you deserve. You're getting what you're entitled to, and it's a new chapter. It's a new chapter of your life that's about to start as a result of whatever it is that's about to take place. Right? Um, we have <clears throat> four major arcana cards on the table. Four. Out of five cards, four of them are all major arcana cards. And uh, we start with the only minor arcana card, the Nine of Cups, classified by the world. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, a card of personal satisfaction. And uh, it's classified by the world. The world could be someplace remote, <clears throat> right? But I also usually interpret the world as a happy end card. This is when one chapter of your life comes to an end and a new, better, happier chapter of your life is about to begin. And perhaps that's why you're satisfied with Right, we have Justice, the next card over could be a Libra you're dealing with, but Justice is most likely something that's going to go in your favor. You're getting what you deserve, what you're entitled to. For some of you, it's literally a court order, right? Uh, perhaps you're winning at a lawsuit or something like that. Justice could be a government agency, a government organization. Um, it could be a financial institution. All right. Uh, right next to the deck, we have the sun. Could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the sun is the happiest card in the deck. You know, it it really is. With the sun card, we feel on top of the world. We feel successful. We feel we feel great. And temperance on the bottom of the deck could be a Sagittarius. You know, temperance could be a card of healing. So for some of you, you could li literally. Uh, you being awarded money because uh, of some kind of an accident or something that happened to you in the past and somebody else was at fault and you had to heal from it and uh, now you're getting the money. For others of you, temperance could be a card of patience. So perhaps you've been patiently waiting for this, patiently working towards this, not giving up, pushing forward, and now it's finally all paying off. Let me know in the comments down below what's exactly is going on. But it feels like definitely something that's going to go in your favor or you're getting what you deserve and it's going to make you uh, really really happy for some of you it's literally a wish come true <laughs> all right i don't think we need to do any additional clarification spreads for this situation it's pretty crystal clear and uh, let's move on to another situation real quick so here's um, another situation for you capricorn to focus on or to make it a priority in uh, early 2024 we have uh, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Swords. Then we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Wands. We also have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Wands. And we have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. Any <laughs> zodiac sign. Um, I believe this is about love. I believe it is. All right. Um, somebody here is um, deciding to either move forward with you or move towards you or relocate so they could live where you live same neighborhood or perhaps the two of you will decide to move in together right um, for others of you for very few of you perhaps um, they could be leaving someone behind so they could be with you you know that's what the six of swords is it's a card of moving from the left to the right. <laughs> and you're the Queen of Pentacles, the next card over. That's definitely, that movement is directed at you. All right? And uh, the thing about the Six of Swords, it always talks about things getting better. It's an improvement card, and uh, things just usually get better with the Six of Swords. The Ace of Swords, clarifying the Six of Swords, this is, I guess, the, the card that belongs to the person you're dealing with. This is a decision to do this. Right? The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. It's a card of a new beginning. It's very decisive. 
uh, energy. With the Ace of Swords, people usually are crystal clear, and uh, they say, "Yes, that's how we're gonna do it." Yes, I'm, or yes, I'm doing this. Yes, I'm moving, moving in, and thing, or moving out. <laughs> so they could be with, with you. All right, <clears throat> and uh, with the Ace of Swords, I think they're gonna be very transparent, very straightforward uh, when they communicate that with you. Um, the Queen of Pentacles right there in the middle, that's you. And uh, as I was clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, I simply asked how will Capricorn feel about this and the Six of Wands shut up. It's a victory. It's a victory. So if there were two people, you know, besides you, uh, you're winning because they're moving forward with you. For others of you, you'll just feel good about what's going on. Because it's also a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. Alright, <clears throat> back in the day the six of wands used to be called the proposal card. So keep that in mind. And uh, at the end we have uh, the two of cups, clarified by the eight of wands, and uh, the two of cups that's you on your person. It's a soulmate card, it's a card of unconditional love. The eight of wands clarifying that is kind of similar to the six of swords, because both of them could be interpreted as cards of travel, or relocating. Alright, then um, at the same time the eight of wands is the Cupid's arrows card. So there's definitely love here. Definitely. Alright, then uh, it's one of the fastest cards in the deck. So I think at some point early in uh, January, in early in 2024, things will start picking up. Things will start getting momentum. Especially if this is not a new situation. Especially if uh, up until this point this person was unable to move forward, was unable to leave. Uh, for very few of you, perhaps this is somebody coming back. So somebody could have graduated from school, from university, got their master's, got their PhD, or it, perhaps they were away on a long, long business trip where they had to relocate for business, and now they're coming back. That's That could also be the scenario here. Either way, I think you're going to be feeling really good about this with that 601s. Like you've succeeded, like it's a clear-cut victory for you. All right, um, let's take a look at the uh, potential between you and this person real quick. So here's the potential uh, for you, uh, Capricorn, between you and the person we saw in the previous spread. We have the Emperor, the Star, uh, the Ace of Pentacles, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune. You could be on with an Aries uh, or an Aquarius, maybe a Sagittarius. You know, um, the only court card we had in the previous bed was uh, that Queen of Pentacles, right? The, but that's you. Um, we have the Emperor and the Star here with the Wheel of Fortune. So the Emperor could be an Aries, uh, Star could be an Aquarius, the Wheel of Fortune could be many, multiple zodiac signs, Sagittarius is just one of them, right? But uh, the Emperor often comes through as a future husband or future spouse figure. The Emperor is large and in charge, the Emperor definitely knows what he or she wants. All right, yeah, that's the potential. The Emperor is the first card that showed up. The star right next to it is a wish come true. Something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles right next to the deck often comes through as a proposal. <laughs> yes, it does. There is a pathway in the right bottom corner of the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentac uh, this is a pathway to a new life together with this person, with the Emperor. Okay, and the Ace of Pentacles is the most long-term uh, oriented ace, right? Uh, it's the ace of pentacles, not just any ace. And uh, the will of fortune on the bottom of the deck is a, a start of a new cycle and the next level up. You know, so together with the emperor it's most likely a commitment. Especially if this is something you've been wishing for for a long time. I did not want to, I did not even want to clarify anything, because this is awesome, this is amazing. Definitely looking towards the commitment with three major arcana cards and the Ace of Pentacles. The only minor arcana card here is the Ace of Pentacles, which is, like I said, a golden opportunity. Alright, so yeah, um, Capricorn, that's, uh, that's what I have for you. Uh, that's what I have for your birthday season, <laughs> right? Um, I'd, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this one time special. Because I know a lot of people uh, have New Year resolutions or people um, set goals for themselves at the end of the year. And uh, that's what I usually do. So I figured, why don't I do this? Why don't I have this uh, one time special to kind of sort of help you out with that or give you ideas, give you suggestions. So let me know. Alright, and um, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Capricorn, have a fantastic 2024.